There are many ruins of ancient antiquity still in existence, which tell a vastly different tale for the history of human civilization than that of its contradictory counterpart, namely modern paradigm. One enforced, funded, and massively supported. A tale of events merely written by a victor. However, thanks to our ancient ancestors' incredible abilities, many of their ruins and relics so well constructed, often made from complex, elaborate, or gigantic materials, can tell us all what a well-funded modern academia simply cannot explain, thus is staunchly rejected and ignored in favor of the illusion of an authority over our species akin to that of an oracle. One of the most popular and predictably easily argued of ancient sites for our case of events, our conviction in the belief that there is a hidden history of man and indeed Earth, one of a far greater antiquity for our species, with many now lost civilizations having once come and gone. The site is additionally one of the largest ancient anomalies of our planet. It is, of course, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Due to the structure's immense sizes, the evidence for several conservation efforts in the form of casing stones littering their four-sided facades. The sheer size of the stones involved in the build, the amount of stone used, the precision of the once hermetically sealed, constellationally aligned ventilation shafts, and the many different stages of erosion present on these varying sections of the construction efforts, indeed, makes the Great Pyramids a great avenue of study, and one of strong conjecture in the face of an adverse and conspiring academia. Our hypothesis, we feel, due to our compiling of the many inexplicable factors of antiquity, has now all but been virtually proven beyond doubt. For our opinion regarding the true history of Earth, is not just based upon the objection of the illogical explanation, widely given for the origin of the pyramids of Egypt. It is also based upon many other areas of ancient history, which not only support our claim, but if one sticks to mainstream historical ideology, will simply find the task of explaining these ancient uparts simply impossible. They simply cannot exist. And our next artifact of interest is no different. Like King Tut's dagger, the Beth Shearim glass slab. Found in Switzerland by amateur archaeologists, it is known as the Hand of Preels. Not only is it the earliest, most elaborate example of bronze and gold work ever found, but, quote, we do not know either the meaning and the function attributed to it. Its gold decor suggests that it was an emblem of power, a distinct sign of the social elite, even of a deity. The hand is extended by a hollow form that suggests it was originally mounted on another object, perhaps as part of a scepter." End quote. Who made the hand of Preels? Is it really 3,000 years old? If so, how can it be the earliest example of this form of metalworking, yet be so elaborate in nature? The hand of Preels is unquestionably an ancient upart and could quite possibly be a surviving relic of a once highly advanced yet now lost civilization. We feel this hypothesis is far more logical and as such makes the hand of Preels highly compelling.